time though. bring the best and the best when it comes to football analysis, prediction, reaction, and even a year swift update. Hey, why? I'm the official lawyer. It's not having you guys. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Hey, why? It's like we're having updates from the Super Ego camp. Yes, um, we have updates. It's not just the Super Ego camp because across our World Cup qualifying matches. And then the, the sad one is um, Ademola Lukman, Atlanta, his team that he plays for in the Italian Serie have said he will not be arriving early for our campaign against... Um, um, South Africa and Benin in Uyo. Um, all this from Italy says they have a match against Florentina and it's one of their very important yeah, very players player, yeah. and they are not ready to to allow him. Camping is supposed to be on the 2nd of June we, ahead of the 5th and 7th um, match against South Africa and Benin. So it looks like a sad one for us as as a, as, as a national team having just lost Osime. And then going forward, um, still on the World Cup qualifier, we have the um, news that Ugo Bros. The uh, the current interim coach of um, South Africa is going to be dropping his 25 25 mile list today. Uh, apparently, we've seen it at five mile list, but now as it stands, it's going to be removing 12 players, and then we have the confirmed 23 man list by 12 mm-hmm. noon today. And then ahead, um, Genetroy, who happens to be a familiar, a familiar, a familiar fool, <laughs> a familiar fool, has dropped his own 23 man squad mm-hmm. ahead of the Nigerian um, qualifier. In um, Benin, they will be hosting us, as you know. And then four Nigerian names are on that list. Mm-hmm. I can mm-hmm. tell you, it looks like we are we are, we are in serious trouble. Like we are four Nigerian Nigeria, yeah, 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 in that li- on that list, and then they have been talking tough how they really want to to destroy us. Yeah. So I, I I think at this point we have to take them serious. <laughs> okay, pressure, see what now official lah. Yeah, my brother. The the uh, Adem- I own very Ademola look man. Won't be joining us at the camp early ahead of the South African and the Bini uh, uh, match. What do you think about this Ademola Lukman impact not joining us uh, early? I think it's uh it's going to be a very very uh big problem because uh, having lost uh, Victor Sime, arguably Ademola Lukman is one of, one of our best, best players. players. Yeah. Not because of not because of what he's doing in Atlanta, because of what he has even done in the Afcon. Yeah. Which is how important he is, yeah. the way he plays. You understand, and what we have been lacking in, in, in that team is a ball holder. You understand, so I didn't want to look more technically, is that guy that can hold the ball, dribble one or two players. And uh, I don't understand why this keeps happening to African players. Yeah. Yeah. You understand, yeah. there, were, there were rumors and speculations concerning Kulibali one time at Napoli, uh, the Napoli president, that as an African, if they want to sign you, you have to sign on, yeah. thinking that you won't yeah. be attending yeah. the yeah. AFCON. So, you know, the AFCON is a mid uh, season uh, competition that takes between January and February. Imagine talks like that. This doesn't happen to European uh, players, you understand? But when it comes to African players, there are these clauses that I don't understand. You understand? This is the same player that I probably won Atlanta, uh, an European trophy, and his pictures were not even displayed in the front pages in the newspaper. You understand? We are hearing play, play, names of players that they didn't even turn up throughout the tournament. You understand? So I, I, feel, I feel this issue needs to be addressed. As Africans, we need to command more respect. And uh, it's, 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 it's be a tricky one because the, the coach now needs to needs to work with that kind of player. Okay, mm-hmm. um, on, on second, we have a match on fifth. Two days after that, we have a match against Benny. Mm-hmm. And this is a player that uh, the coach needs to get his tactics mm-hmm. right and, and everything. Funny enough, we just lost a cement to injury. That's what I'm and saying. Is, is another one that is, that is not going to be honest. Do you, you know the painful part about it? It's because of the way they have even been authoritative about the whole issue. Mm-hmm. Is there a communication between the club and the country, and then obviously, obvi- what, what, what even baffles me is the fact that if you look at this match, this um, Atl- Atlanta match is not like a very important match <laughs> they are, because they are, they, are, they are already in Champions League. In Champions League. Now, as it stands now, the league table now, Atlanta is sitting on the fourth on the on the on the table ahead of uh, yeah, Juventus. Juventus. So they are they are just battling this match because of ego. Because it, from the table, I'm seeing uh, we have seventy one points for Juventus. Atlanta is on sixty nine. Agreeably, if they win this match, they will go ahead of Juventus. Juventus. But it is still. You are in the championship. Maybe the next match. And we have a very important match coming in. You, you understand? So I don't know why they are doing this because we, we we understand that it's a very important player to them. But equally, it's a very important player. Yeah, if you need to send a letter to all the club sides, like three or four weeks ago, telling them how important and the time they want us, yeah. all the players to be in. We are coming on the second. You are saying the player will not come on, on, on until like two, two days after. That's on the fourth. You understand? So how, how long would they have to travel the fatigue and then the other thing now start training with the other team. And then going forward, what what um what message are you trying to pass to the players that have been in camp before? 
that will now you now say Ademola Lukman is walking straight to the team, having come having come in to the to the camping late. You understand what I'm trying to say? Exactly what AY said here. Because uh, I, I I saw yesterday uh, France players. Their their tournament is starting I think on the 18th of June. They are, they don't come yesterday. The, all the players arrived yesterday. Well, that, except for well, players. Exactly. Except for players that are still in the Champions League. Yes, the yeah, likes yeah. of Kamavinga. Yeah, yeah. You understand? If not, do you know what camping? You have to camp, watch these players' diet. Mm, you understand? Yeah. Their fitness, their mm. physios, everything. If they're in the right state of mind. It's football, for God's sake. Exactly. I don't understand why this disrespect keeps going on. And, and it, it needs to be addressed. This yeah. same thing happened with Onana. Yeah. They, 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 they were in the camp. And Onana, they give my United think Perry gave him a jet to come. And Onana wants to start that match. match. What exactly. message are you passing to the coach? What message are you passing uh, to the other players that have been yeah, training? Yeah. I feel it needs to be checked. It needs to be checked. It's very bad. It's very bad. Bro. Now, uh, away from the Animal Lukman uh, uh, saga, South African is going to be leading the, the, the 23 man list this afternoon. You know, they released the, the 35 man list the other time. That has to go some scooping and all that. Now they are bringing us the original list. What do you think about this? How is it going to be? How is it going to be for you? You know, the last of uh, the Amakwen and the Mopula. So, how is it going to be for you? <laughs> um, like I said, this yeah. is what we are talking about preparations, yeah. camping, and everything. Okay, we have we have uh, two matches in the space of three days qualifiers, World Cup. Two days? Uh, exactly my point. Two days, fifth and seventh. Exactly. We, we uh, Nigerian delayed our list. Quite alright because of some circumstances with Finidi and I understood after everything. But the list is out, they can work with it. You understand? Um, South Africans now are a step ahead of us. You understand? Because arguably, after calling 35 man squad list, they were able to camp, get some tactics right, and drop players based on their training sessions now. You understand? Which we in Nigeria have not even started doing. You understand? So as it stands, they are, they are, they are a step ahead of us in training, and it's just on. Let me just say his vibes are inshallah at the moment now. Because Ademola Lukman, nothing. You understand what was going on here? Oh my God, my brother. You understand? So, so our fingers are crossed. We are waiting for 12 o'clock. Let's see the list that comes out. But we know arguably the same set of players, except for one or two players that will add. So, and I feel that uh, they, are, they are good. They are good players. We just need to get our own side of the tactics right. And uh, God will help us. Yeah, I, I think uh, one important thing that we have to. No, we have to take. We have, don't have to take with levity the fact that since South Africa has qualified, since South Africa, South Africa hosted the World Cup, they've not qualified for the World Cup since 2010. And then the coach has been talking tough because they said it is not. It does not speak well of them having host the World Cup since 2010 and they've not qualified. So they really want this as important as Nigeria. So they are ready to give it all it takes <laughs> to make sure that they qualify. And then let's not forget that they are they are coming with a, lo- a whole lot of revenge. We, we you defeated them. At the half half court, yes. So it was a draw, but penalty. We know how that went. It was not easy for them. You understand? We, they stretched the match for us, going into the penalties, and they yeah. lost. They lost the penalties. So they are, they are, they are coming with all their arsenals. They are coming with every weapon of mass destruction. And because they are, we are hosting them, so they have been yeah. talking tough, and they're saying that they are going to give it us. Now, one thing that one thing that that gives me a concern is the 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 their highest goal scorer in the in the DSTV Premier League. Who is my a player of Orlando Pirate in Mambasa? He's not even on the list, okay. on the 35 man list. Are you serious? Yes, he scored 16 goals this season for, for Orlando Pirates. He's the, he's the uh, top, top scorer of this season. He's not on that list. And what does that tell you? That they are very, yeah. they are very important, they are very strong players, players on that list. For him not to have made the list. So, yeah, so you understand what I was saying? We have, we have to put all hands on deck. We have to put everything that we have got into this as. I'm talking about the Super Eagles to make sure that we do, we don't give them a chance. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Ewa. Yeah. I appreciate all that. It's, nice. it's a wonderful having you guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now let's talk about another update again. Mm-hmm. Ewa. Mm-hmm. Gareth Raw, our mm-hmm. former Super Eagle coach, yeah. is now the, the coach, yeah, yeah. and he has our uh, four Nigerian players <laughs> in his list that he just dropped yesterday. Now it's going to be a battle between Nigerian and Nigerians in the Bennett. Officially, what do you think about <laughs> uh, this Benelist? Uh, first of all, I will say let us put calls to our brothers down there. Okay. They should put their weapons down. <laughs> you understand? Know, you think they don't want to qualify you? Let them put their weapons down. Where they all go fight for there? <laughs> well, uh, I, it's a, it's a nice build up to the match. Uh, Ghana Troy, our former coach, and uh, I think uh, the way we ended this contract, I think it was not in a favorable term for him. Uh, there were times he even took us to court okay. over our owings and everything. So I feel we'll be coming back to get revenge. Uh, you understand? So the thing is, Benny, our near neighbors here. So it's understandable if we have some names 
if you understand that it's looking yeah. like my own name, Olade, yeah. and the rest. Oh, you see, you go to yeah, so you see <laughs> names like Kayode, Ayobami, and the rest. Maybe everyone will see his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. So, I just feel the tougher match out of this fixture is yeah. uh, the South African match. And I feel if we can get something out of that to ease the pressure going into the next game, it will be a good advantage for us. And let's down. I would prefer to, I would prefer to play Bennett than uh, South Africa, of course. You understand? So uh, obviously, I think I think uh, you are. Let's not uh, let's not take anything from the yes, Bennett side. No, no, well, no, they are no. familiar. They are familiar fools. No, no, and now, I, uh, now as it stands now, Genesro is the longest serving foreign manager that we have had in Nigeria. Yeah. Sure, five years and four months. You understand? So he, I think to some extent he knows some of some of uh, our players. Our, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, now yeah, some, some of our players. And that's why he's not changing much. Yes, to the left. Yeah, he knows, and another thing is he scouts the number one scout, his first assistant coach is in Nigeria. Nigeria, Nigeria yeah. So they are, I'm not taking anything, anything away from them. I think he played 54 games. He's, he won 28, he drew 13, and he lost 13 for Nigeria. So he knows us in and out. So we should not, probably because South Africa is a bigger name, now look down on Bene. On Bene. It's like a derby. And you know, you officially know how derby are always are. Yeah, sure. You understand? You understand? It's not going to be easy. Though they might not have um, what it takes. Like the South Africans, yes. but let's not just um, take it. Yeah, let's not take it away from them. Let's just whatever input you are putting into the South African match, we should sure, also put in there. Too. And let's not forget that the the Benin Republic match is even on their soil. South Africa, we are also South Africa. They are, we are playing them on their own soil, so that means we are traveling to Benin too, and they are also not. So let's just make sure that we put in as a, as much as effort we put into the South African game into the Benin game too. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's wonderful having you guys have said. Each time I have you guys, I, I'm excited because you give me the best and nothing but the best. Please, the European uh, club should stop putting some unnecessary plus on our African players. We need Ademola Lokma for Christ's sake. How can I leave this boy for us on time? Make you come join the brother as they train. We need these guys. And they are not true. We wish you good luck. As you pack our Nigerian boys for your team. <laughs> Well, let's see how it goes to work out for the Nigerian boys in Benin. And Super Egos, please give us the best and nothing, but, and nothing but the best. Bring it to you, Max. Give up on it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow the Twitter handle at Final Whistle 931. We'll see you again next time. Thank you.